So the any builds A350, 1000, and 900, as you can see, have finally been released today. Now, if I tried to do a full review on this, as you know, I'm a moron, it would be awful. But one thing I can do, and one thing I'm very accustomed to, is testing the physics of planes, taking them to the limits they should never go to, dumb ways, things that there's no reason to test. With a new huge plane like this that's been so hyped, we have to do it. Again, like I said, not a real review, but uh, from what I can tell, this plane looks phenomenal. Cockpit, incredibly cool let's go to uh, i mean even the seats looking cool there let's get in the uh in the cabin here very very i mean very quickly check this out i'm not trying to do anything too crazy can i go straight through there there we go look how nice everyone look how nice so of course any builds a350 it's been very hyped for a very long time from what i can tell everything is great with it but we must test some physics action i mean even look at the the landing gear the the texture on the fuselage but like as far as attention to detail i know i said we were just going to get to it like this is so cool the oxygen stuff like are you kidding me so like i was saying attention to detail things we're in the bathroom you can flush the toilet apparently turn music down three two one Two thousand years later. We're at Princess Juliana. As I said already, we have a little bit of fuel. Nothing too crazy. We're just gonna see how the how the plane feels on normal takeoff. And then if you couldn't tell because of the, you know, the part of the world we're in, we're gonna do some um ridiculous testing. Again, these tests are not scientific and they are not uh necessary, helpful in any way, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, gear up. Let's see what this animation looks like. Ooh, okay, little bit framey there. I won't lie, little bit framey there, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too upset. Again, this plane also crashed on me about a trillion times loading in, so I'm sure that will be fixed in due time. But I do want to note it since it happened. Coming in for a landing, slightly high here. We just slew moded just to get a feel. I don't want to waste a bunch of time on normal landings and takeoffs. Like I said, today's idea is to do something um, really dumb. It lo it, it kind of does just like, feels like it maintains um, a lot of speed. This is going to be awful. Just ignore, just ignore this. It's kind of, um... Max Production super chatted four dollars oh, right. ninety nine About the worst, cents. worst time it could have been. Spot. Yeah, that was about the worst time to dono possible. But there's the, the landing. I mean, it was it was smooth enough, and it looks like we're taking quite some distance to stop. That is, I think, a 2024 thing. I, it'd be interesting to see if the 2021 feels a much different or not. Anyway, though, didn't feel bad on landing, didn't feel bad on takeoff, but you know what we have to do. We have a few, we have a few little islands in the area that pose some very cool challenges. First physics test, again, really dumb. It does not matter. Static takeoff. We're about as light as possible here. And let's just see, uh, See what the A350 does. If this is successful, you know we will be taking off over the hill on the next one. Here we go. 80 knots, 90, 100. This might work, actually. Oh, with no tail strike, no nothing. Okay. We must try over the hill. Now, this should absolutely zero chance in the planet of doing this, but we're already at 50 knots, so I feel like it might be able to. I'm trying to rotate it 100. 100? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Okay, the real moment of truth, everyone. Landing over the hill. How is it stopping performance? We're just going full brakes, full reversers, 3% fuel, and we're going to hope and pray. Okay, wobbly here. Coming in. Here we go. Yeah, something's wrong with my scenery or something. Come down, come down. Wobbly. Oh, come on. Come on. No way. Stop. 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 Ah, there it is. Okay, 100% fuel takeoff. A350, St. Bart's, again, dumb. Breaks off. Ooh, I mean... That still felt pretty, uh, pretty quick there. 40 knots. Oh, we're going to get over 100 knots here. 60, 70, 80. 
90. 100. Uh, yeah, no. If this will take off with 50% fuel, who would agree that, that the physics are crazy? Let's try to get to 50-ish percent. We'll go 130,000 maybe? Oh, this can do it, I feel like. It's gotta be. It's gotta be able to. Maybe we should have started with less flaps and then add flaps as we go, but. Oh yeah. There it is. There it is. See how, how aggressive we can go. I mean, it's it's all it's almost maintaining airspeed there. A350. This time at Saba, 71% fuel. Let's see what happens. Do we have any guesses in chat right now? I'm gonna say yes. 50. 60. 70. 80. 90 off the edge. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Okay, should we do a landing? Should we do a landing? We'll go back to 4% fuel. What do y'all think? Okay, so there's two, I think there's two, there's two kind of schools of thought. And I'll tell you which one I'm in as well. There's the school of thought where it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's an airliner that normally is going to have a lot of passengers and fuel. So yeah, of course it could act, it could do that, right? There's that theory, but then there's also the theory where I am and it's like even when they do air shows with like an empty airliner yes they perform crazy I'm not saying they don't like they're super impressive but taking off at Saba with 200,000 pounds of fuel on board I can't quite buy it but to be fair this is not a dig at at any specific developer because they're all like that I've landed I think every like every plane that people say is realistic or whatever can take off from Saba everyone which is kind of crazy. It's not just Microsoft. It's not just whatever. Let's see. Let's see if we can land it. We have a super high AOA. We're pretty close to stalling. We might be slightly, a little bit lower than I want. Ooh, now we're high. B breaks. Oh, this is going to be bad. And we got kind of slow there. Here we go. No. I think if I keep 105, maybe 105 ish, still a little fast. 118, B breaks away, keeping the nose up. Push it down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. That was actually pretty smooth. The, I pushed the nose forward at the last second to try to get that the gear out of the way slightly. Okay, we did it, folks. The A350 did it.